Hey everybody, it's Alex with Engineering Applied. We're going to accelerate your career, hobby, or business with this overview of the available decal tool found within Autodesk Inventor. If you want more easy to understand and practical content made by an experienced engineer like myself, make sure you like this video, turn on notifications, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any helpful content like this in the future. If you're looking for a specific function, check the description for timestamps. And if you don't find what you're looking for in this video, make sure you check out my other videos within the Autodesk Inventor series playlist because I'm confident you'll find exactly what you're looking for. Let's get started. All right, so we are in our part file and you'll notice I have a coffee mug modeled up and our objective here is to use the decal tool to wrap an image or a pattern around the face of this cup, so the curved face of the cup. And then in addition to that, we'll also use the decal tool to apply an image to a flat surface as well. One thing we should note here is I went ahead and designed the cup with a tapered profile. Um, so the reason I did this is because I want to also show you how to incorporate a work plane that's parallel to this angle here. And what this will do for us is when we apply an image to this plane that matches this angle, it allows for a very nice wrap to face execution. So our first step in this process is we need to get our reference geometry set up so that we can make a nice um, wrap to face feature. So. First, we're going to start a 2D sketch on the, yeah, we'll do the YZ plane. This is fine. And we'll project the geometry of this face of this taper here. So we've got that geometry projected. We'll finish sketch. Now we need to create a work plane that is parallel to this line, but tangent to this face. So all we have to do is go up to this work feature section, click on plane. You'll select the face and then you're going to select the line and you'll see it sort of pops up with that new work plane. And if we sort of rotate it to the side, you'll see that is coincident with the surface, but parallel to this line. This is very critical because when you do your wrap to face or when you're wrapping an image around a circular profile or a rounded profile, you wanna make sure that your plane is tangent to that surface to get the best possible uh, result. So now that we have that there, what we're going to do now is we're going to apply our image to this plane. And so I went ahead and generated a uh, random pattern uh, to use in this case. And so what we'll do is we'll go and create a sketch on this plane. And actually before I do that, I'm just going to um, flip this, go to new sketch, and I'm going to go to insert image. And I'm going to go to my download section. That's where I'm keeping the image. So wherever your image file resides, that's where you'll want to go. And then I'm going to just drop this somewhere in space. And that looks okay. And um, let me just go ahead and rotate this a little bit and then sort of move it over the area we want to apply it to. So um, let's go ahead and try that first. So um, of course you'll want to fine tune your image, whatever, however you're dropping it on there. You can dimension your image if you uh, choose to do it that way as well. For this case, I'm just going to drop it. So now we have our image on our sketch plane. So we're going to click finish sketch. Okay. Now we have all of the elements here that we need to use the decal tool. So uh, we'll go up to create to this create section, go to decal and um, so for our image selection field, we have our light blue line there. That means that we are ready to select our image. So we'll just hover over our image. And then we want to select the face that this image gets uh, projected onto. So we'll select this outer face of the cup. Okay. And then um, you'll notice here we have a setting called applies the decal to adjacent faces. So um, generally you want to keep this on unless you want to control the specific faces it chains over to. Um, at the top here, if you hit this X, it'll close out of the window. And then if we go to the settings menu, you have your keep sketch visible on. That basically means that um, if we press this little plus sign, it'll apply the uh, decal feature, but then it'll keep the original decal image open so that we can apply it to other surfaces uh, consecutively if you want to do it that way. And then in this section down here, we have our behavior. And um, this setting is very important, especially for circular faces or rounded faces, I should say. Um, and this wraps the image around that curved surface. And that's what we're actually going to use in this case. So um, we'll leave this alone. 
We'll come down to wrap to face and we're just gonna click okay. And now we get this really nice wrapped um, artwork around the curved surface of the cup. And so if you're applying maybe a sticker uh, into your model and you need it to go around a curved surface, you would do it, uh, you would follow this process to do that. Now let's apply the decal to the flat surface. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hide this so we don't have to stare at it while we're working here. And we're going to apply another image to the bottom flat surface of the cup. So we'll just click new sketch and do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna insert our image. Okay, so I've imported my image. So this is just the engineering applied logo and we're going to apply it to this flat surface on the bottom. So I'll just sort of drop it where I want it. Of course, you can always dimension it like I've said previously. Um, in this case, I'll just sort of eyeball it. That looks fine. We'll hit finish sketch. And then now we'll go back to decal. We're gonna select the image. We're gonna select the face. And in this case, we don't have to use wrap to face because it's a flat surface, but if it was slightly curved, um, you could certainly use wrap to face if you uh, choose to do so. We'll click OK. And now we have our image applied to the flat surface. So again, you can apply an image to a rounded surface or a flat surface. That concludes this segment of the Autodesk Inventor Park Creation module, where we took a look at the available decal tool. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications to stay up to date on future content that will help you reach your goals along your journey. And of course, don't hesitate to leave a comment or reach out via my website contact page and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to learn about or see on this channel. I love sharing my knowledge and experience with the community, and I cannot wait to see all of the positive impact you'll create out in the world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.